Hi friends, it's Alia. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. So today we're doing an energy update on your person. What does your person think and feel about you right now? Keep in mind that this type of reading is meant for those of you that are in some sort of challenging situationship, connection, relationship, and etc. So um, again, quick disclaimer, if you don't resonate, if you happen to not resonate this week, uh, it just means it, it's not for you. It's either it is for you or it's not. You're going to know when a message is meant for you. You're going to feel it. It's going to vibrate in your heart chakra. If it doesn't, if you don't feel nothing or you feel like it's, or it's very confusing, you don't get the messages, it's because it's not meant for you. You're more than welcome to choose another pile or, you know, maybe next week I'll be able to tap into your energy since I do these type of readings every week. So, Without further ado, let's get started. Let me introduce you guys to the piles. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. All right. So uh, let's start with uh, pile one. Group one, we have carnelian. Group two, we have rose quartz. And group three, we have citrine. So take a moment. Center yourself. Take a couple deep breaths. Once you're ready, choose the pile or piles you're drawn to. Please go ahead and make your selection. Okay, if you need more time, please pause the video for now. Let's get started. Group one, welcome if you've chosen Carnelian. This is your reading. We're going to look at these cards towards the end. For now, let's use a psychic tarot and see what does your person think about you and your connection right now. One more time. Let's get three cards. Oops, I think I had the, the deck reversed. Uh, yeah, I had the deck reversed. So we have the moon. We have sacrifice. And we have the universe. Okay. So, group one, things don't seem to be moving in, within your connection. That's what it looks like. For some of you, clearly here there's distance. Maybe you had broken up. Maybe it's been some time that you have seen each other here with the world. Uh, I could either indicate physical distance or emotional one. And with the hangman here in the middle, things are not really moving. For, they're, not, they're just at a stalemate. And... Maybe because one of you or both of you have, have to sacrifice to be together. Remember, we have sacrifice here. So whether maybe you're both very far and one of you has to move, that kind of sacrifice. Or it could be some other sacrifice. Everyone is dealing with something different. Shadow, you guys, I feel like you might have had a very strong connection at a point where you feel like you mirrored one another, okay? You could have brought, brought out the best in you guys in each other or you could have brought the worst fears out in each other as well so maybe through this connection you were able to confront your shadow side maybe they, they did the same but i feel here there's like some sort of marrying going on between the two of you so if you're afraid of the connection they have the same fears they might they might have the same concerns um so yeah let's clarify the cards Um, so if I'm also picking up to see, okay, it could also be that maybe your person sees you as very mysterious. Maybe some of you, like I said, it's been a while since you've seen each other. So they really don't know what you're up to. So you could be like a mystery to them, you know, like they don't know what you're up to. It's been a while. Um, yeah, because the reason why I say that some of you are just been a while since you've seen each other because of the, of the world there, which is the universe in this deck. All right, please clarify shadow. Let's see. Okay. So, Eight of Wands, which is a card of forward movement. It's also a card of news, yeah? Uh, from a distance, 
uh, it's usually a positive card, but it's clarifying the moon. So it can I can read this as afraid to move forward or uh, they don't know what you're up to. There's distance here. Maybe they haven't they haven't spoken to you in a while or you haven't spoken to them in a while. So uh, please clarify sacrifice. Sacrifice. Maybe the sacrifice again, it has to do with moving, moving or settling down, a commitment. So it could be that maybe your person is afraid of commitment. You're afraid of commitment. So the sacrifice here, maybe you guys have to meet halfway. You both have to compromise to be together, right? It could be that maybe one of you has to move to the other or has to travel to the other. So, and um, so, but there's fear here with the moon. There's fear. There's unrealistic expectations as well for some of you. Um, or maybe there's more about the connection or there's more going on with your person that you're aware of. Yeah. Or maybe you only see what you want to see when it comes to your person and they might do the same. So, but there's definitely fear of moving. So, of movement, not necessarily physically moving somewhere, but it's just like of maybe taking the connection somewhere. Yeah. Uh, work on the connection, that kind of thing. Develop the connection. So, please clarify the world here, the universe. Seven of, of Cups. So, Seven of Cups is a card of scattered energy it's a card of options it could be it could be also a card of thinking about some somebody I, I see it a lot i associate the seven of cups with somebody's thinking about about somebody but here because we have the universe so maybe there's a distance here i, I feel like again I, I i keep going back to the same thing i feel like maybe right now your connection is more in the realm of thought than it is in person it, it, that is in physical so let's see how do they feel about you so if you want to know if they still think about you yes you're you're still on their mind yes maybe even they're thinking of reaching out to see what you're up to you know get some news from you that kind of thing um what's going on in their heart space Let your friends help you. Okay, so this card, it can mean that you guys maybe only had friends with some of, I mean, only have been friends or only had a friendship in this connection. Maybe they see you as a friend, as a close confidant. Maybe there's something that they want to talk to you about. Okay, forgiving and learning. Uh, maybe there's something, maybe they did you wrong. Maybe they miss your friendship for some of you. We're going to clarify with, with these cards very soon. So. Uh, there's some I feel like maybe they're trying if you haven't heard from them in a while they're thinking about reaching out and they're thinking of and then this might happen very soon let's clarify the cards please clarify let your friends help you Queen of Pentacles so they, they might if you are this Queen of Pentacles is they see you as somebody who who was there for them who's very reliable Somebody who's very grounded, um, has a good head on their shoulder, on their shoulders, or shoulders, yeah, shoulders. So regardless if you're, it doesn't matter your gender here, it's just the energies of the Queen of Pentacles. So there's like, for some of you, I'm getting, this was a friendship. Maybe they miss your friendship. Maybe they did you wrong and what, it could be something as simple as they haven't been very communicative and they're thinking about you, they're thinking of reaching out, maybe they're hoping that you had forgiven them, that you're not holding a grudge. Let's clarify forgiving and learning, what is this about? Okay, like Seven of Pentacles, it's like thinking, planning. Um, maybe the, you're gonna hear from them, you know, maybe they have an apology for you, uh, maybe they have an explanation, there's an excuse as to why they, they were, you know, they weren't present in your life or they didn't call you back or whatever the case may be. There's, so there's definitely, they're very much in their head when it comes to you. Please clarify very soon. Okay, very soon. So very soon is some sort of 
uh, invitation, proposal, or just like being friendly, coming towards you. Very, you know, so there's something here that they, maybe they're gonna invite you somewhere, ask you out, ask to see you, or coming towards you, okay? So, it even extending an olive branch for some of you. King of, I mean, the Knight of Cups is a beautiful card. Um, it's a, I mean, really, I can't see anything negative. It's a very beautiful, romantic, loving card. So, you know, I feel like here it's more like, and you could see the horse here is in motion. So they're deciding, they're thinking, will they reach out, coming back towards you? Uh, we, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, they don't know what to do yet because clearly they're taking some time to think about things. Yeah, or they don't know how, how well will they be received as well. They don't know if you're still angry or especially if they've ghosted you or they blocked you. So if they blocked you, maybe they're thinking of unblocking you and maybe reestablish communication, that kind of thing. I mean, I, I could sit here and give you guys different scenarios how this could play out, but it looks rather positive here. It looks like, yeah, there's distance here. Things maybe kind of stopped within your connection, didn't go anywhere. But don't think that you're, they're completely moved on from you. They're not. They're, as a matter of fact, they're thinking of reaching out to you and coming back towards you. That's what it looks like here. All right, let's look at the Oracle cards and see. This could be, it could also point to somebody who's like in and out of your life. Your date, they, they disappear or that you disconnect from them. They come back again. This could be that scenario, yeah? So let's look at the their energies right now towards you or, or where they at right now presently in their life just their, their energies so we have the temple path upright this card is somebody who's connected to spirit somebody who's spiritual and but it's in the reverse so there's some blockages here could be feeling disconnected from their intuition could feel lost could feel very much alone that they don't have any help from the spirit world somebody who's just very or it could be even we can talk about can refer to somebody who doesn't believe in anything like an atheist for example uh just somebody who's very con disconnected yeah and and then we have the sun in the reverse which means this your person right now uh, for some of you it's been a ta some time you haven't seen them they're not very happy right now. They are not very inspired. They're not very motivated. They feel stuck because uh, it came out reversed. And they don't feel like, uh, they just don't feel like they have much going on for them, yeah? Uh, they feel like everything in their lives is delayed. Their happiness, whatever they want from life is delayed. That things are not moving fast enough. And they're very restless. And maybe that's why for some of them, they want to talk to you about it. Yeah. As far as your energies, where you are, challenging times, five of swords. You're very disappointed. You're very disappointed in how things went within this connection. And you could see, look, look at this, right, the shield right in front of them. So you're shielding yourself from them. You know, you're not going to be as open and as you were once. Of course, it's natural. But here is you very, very much disappointed in the this connection maybe in them and maybe you thought of them to be different and they let you down but you're not going to be as open arms you're not going to have your arms open as you did before as a matter of fact you're going to pretty scared of them or just very skeptical you're going to hold back or you're holding back then we have joy and stability. You want somebody who's going to be there for you. The four of wands, you know, you want stability. You want emotional stability. And and that's what you're working towards. Maybe your, all your energy is in work and building something for yourself, you know. Um, you want a solid relationship. And maybe that's why you're very defensive when it comes to this connection. I feel like you're very disappointed. Yeah. All right, so what the Spirit wants you to know, what you need to work on. So we have forgiveness. It's an interesting. We have forgiven and learning. It looks like you've been very hurt by this connection. It says, healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So 
regardless I know forgiveness sometimes it's not easy or it's easier said than done but forgiveness is for your own sake whether you decide to forgive this person and let them back in your life it's beside the point forgive it's forgiving yourself sometimes sometimes we're hard on ourselves and anybody so forgiving this person forgiving yourself so you're able to move forward so you'll be able to have to build this whatever this emotional stability security that you're seeking it starts with forgiveness which means letting go of the old baggage whether it's this connection other connections or even how you felt or the role you played in this connection so time to let it go even in the past okay we have chop wood so this is a card of what's the better way to distract yourself and focus on the little things you know um, every day routine and chores and things you have to do and work and all that so maybe you can control a lot in your life right now but just doing things keep you busy mentally busy so you don't spend so much time dwelling on the negative huh? and, it, and if you look at this number is 42 which is a six and six is ruled by venus which is planet of love harmony and beauty so just be by being busy through that might bring you some peace yeah um and then what do your angels what is the answer to your question okay from i pulled a card from the angel answers deck and we have this is your answer from spirit from your angels i should say let go let go it's going to mean different things for each and every one of you for some of you it means let go of this connection it might not be a good one for you let go of the hope or let go of the of the outcome the desired outcome for this connection this is about just basically letting go and letting letting go and letting god not trying to force anything it's about being busy it's about working on yourself um it's about moving forward and not trying to control the situation it even like i said maybe letting go for some of you is maybe just don't expect anything if something happens within you got between you guys great if it, nothing happens well you won't be disappointed but this is about letting go of control uh letting go of the attachment to a desired outcome to a desired future about, about this connection so it's going to mean different things you only you know what this means um where is this connection heading the next few days or few weeks so we have page of cups Okay, page of cups in it came out in the reverse upright you know it's somebody coming you know maybe a message uh, an apology is on its way but it came out reverse and the deck wasn't reversed but it came out reverse which means there's a delay there's a delay in this apology but I feel like they're still thinking about coming towards you they're thinking about it Queen of Wands it's about you taking control of your life confidence taking your power back the temperance okay healing forgiving letting go of the past eight of cups letting go of of uh, this emotional attachment because i feel like just like this girl here on the card she's heartbroken she's crying because he left her right i think that more than anything is you're going to take your power back you're not going to care so much if they go and come back maybe right now you were very hurt by their their distance but with the wheel of fortune is that you need to get out of the ferris wheel you know wheel of fortune keeps going around and around and around so for some of you the message saying that time to take your power back let the past be in the past you know move on with your life get off this wheel yeah that keeps coming back for some of you it's on again off again on again off again so you might have passion or whatever but you don't have emotional security and as long as you allow it it's always going to keep coming back into your life so maybe if you've done this over and over again if they've been coming back and leaving your life coming back and leaving your life maybe spirit is saying don't hold on too tight you know go with the flow let go of the desired outcome or what you want for this kind of where this you want which direction you want this connection to go and see what happens but it looks like they might come back but then again they're not very reliable and don't even take your personal group one is because if you could look at their energies they're not in a good place right now 
So if they're not in a good place, if they don't feel love for themselves, if they don't feel stability, how can they, how can they give that to you? It's something to think about. So, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys. But, you know, know that they're gonna, this person is coming back around. If, you know, you're just wondering, will you hear from them? Will you see them? Uh, chances are they will. But Spirit is saying here, don't hold on too tight. Okay? I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you for watching Group 1. Bye-bye. Group 2, welcome. If you've chosen uh, Rose Quartz, this is your reading. We're going to look at these cards towards the end. For now, let's see. What does your person think about you and your connection at, right now? I was going to say at this moment, but it's just what's going on at this currently um what are their what what are their thoughts on your connection okay so we have third eye chakra we have patience and planning which is the seven of pentacles and and crown chakra okay so both very spiritual cards here with the third eye and the crown chakra and the seven of so they feel maybe they they feel like your connection is of a spiritual one that's one way to look at it the planning and patience pl patience and planning so it's going maybe they're thinking maybe they don't know what's going to happen, but they're open to see where things are going. So let's see. Let's clarify the cards. What is the third eye chakra? Please clarify third eye chakra. King of Pentacles. Very interesting. So it could be that maybe your person is disconnected from their intuition and very focused on the material right now. Maybe they're just the only thing they're focused on is on stability building a future for themselves, on career, on their job, on earthly matters, yeah? Um, so, so yeah. Very interesting. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, Patience and Planning. What is this about? Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Wands is about new opportunity. It could be also... Um, new potential for relationship but it's in the works because the seven of pentacles it's like thinking about it you know not just doing it could be that maybe they want to change their life maybe for some of you they met you and this is something that you've changed about them something you brought into into their into their awareness maybe they're no longer as focused on their career it could be that it could be maybe they have a change of heart for some of you um, please clarify the crown chakra what is this? The tower. So tower is is big change. So is it is it possible that uh, you have changed your perspective? They no longer think. Um, if you just change the way they are, maybe change just their perspective, their their plans even. Maybe this is a person that had. Maybe they have their future figured out, yeah? But then here you come and you kind of change. They, they weren't waiting for you. They weren't expecting a connection. And something happened. Now everything is, they're questioning everything. Uh, could be even having a spiritual crisis here. I don't know why we would get this combination of cards. It doesn't make sense to me. Hopefully, as we look at the other cards, it's going to make more sense. I just don't understand why... The third eye and the crown, the crown chakra are both here. I just don't get it. Let's see. Sometimes the cards don't make sense, but as we go through the reading, it's going to make more sense. So let's see. What's going on in the heart space? What's going on in the heart space? What's going on in the heart space? Chemistry. Okay. Keep an open mind. Religious factors. Very interesting. 
religious factors and we have crown chakra which is spirituality and religion maybe one of you is very religious and the other one is very spiritual um, I mean this is really out there but for some of you maybe they're questioning their beliefs because of your connection um, you are definitely somebody that they've never met anybody like you okay you are soulmate of, of some sort you're here to shake their world and they may be here to do the same for you shake their your world as well change your beliefs uh, just change the direction of your life and you could be doing the same thing for them as well um, there's definitely a lot of attraction between you guys and like I said they've never met anybody like you so let's see what is this chemistry about please clarify okay so there's a strong magnetic attraction here but here it's clarified by the two of pentacles I can say that it's mutual okay it's mutually felt the chemistry but I feel also the struggle with it too you know especially if it's somebody maybe they had plans and five-year plan ten-year plan and maybe you don't fit in that plan in meaning that they weren't ready for connection or relationship uh, right now in their life because I feel like here their vision third third eye chakra can also talk about somebody's vision right their vision is to be successful uh, if you're dealing with a woman or a man, whatever, maybe even their vision is to find somebody with who's very stable, financially very stable. Okay, it could be that. Either they become very stable or to find this king of pentacles. Um, so that's why maybe something you have changed your perspective somehow. They struggle with it. Maybe some of them even are resisting your connection too. What is to keep an open mind? What is this about? Or it could be that, especially if you're dealing, let's say, for, I'll give you another scenario. If you are dealing with somebody who's very responsible, who's already, who's in another relationship, their vision is to be this king of pentacles, the provider, the family man, and there you go, you changed everything. Now they're questioning everything. So, keep an open mind. What is this about? Three of Cups. So, Three of Cups is friends, is celebration. It's third party. So maybe, especially if you're in a third party, your person is not the typical person to have a third party, but they've never met anybody like you and they're doing something they would normally, they wouldn't normally do. Okay? This is not for everybody, you guys. If you don't resonate with this reading, it's just because it means it wasn't for you. But for those of you that resonate, stick around. Let's find out more. Religious factors, what is this about? Justice. Justice, religious factors, it could be that these differences, it can mean that a lot of you are dealing with somebody who's married, you could be married as well, and it could be something with, with the law as well, something legal in nature, it could be somebody that really likes to follow traditions, and it's, it's a big conflict, it's like you're changing their you're, they're, you're changing their perspective or their way of seeing the world. Maybe before they just saw the world black and white and there's plenty of shades of gray. So, so yeah. Very interesting, guys. Let's see. What are the current energies? Where are they at right now in their life? We have Angel of Patience, of Strength. It's in the reverse. So they don't feel very brave. They don't feel very strong right now. They, don't, they feel pretty insecure and uncertain about a lot of things going on in their life not just not just has to do with you they just don't feel very strong the reason why is because this is we have second chakra archangel Ariel upright is because they have now they have different they have different desires and they're going against what they truly want for example this is just an example let's say they have deep feelings for you and they have their beliefs but they desire you, but for some reason, they're not acting on their desires. Even though this is what they want, but they're not, they're acting, they're not acting on their desires. They don't have the strength, the willpower to go for what they want at this time. Because maybe prior commitment, 
family obligations, society, what society expects of them, that kind of thing. Their community expects of them. What are your current energies, group two? Feeling alone, you feel forsaken. You just feel very left out in the cold. You might feel depressed right now. You're just not doing good. We no lose five of swords. You feel very disappointed. You feel like you've lost. Yeah, you're just not in a good state of mind as well. You just maybe this connection has taken a toll on you. And um, especially if they've been very cold and just distance themselves from you, because I see here there's a lot of chemistry, but they stay away from you. They're struggling with that with that attraction towards you because they feel like they're not at liberty to do whatever it is they want to do. They're not free. And this left you alone, feeling abandoned by them, rejected and disappointed. You had so many hopes for this connection. Contentment. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly, you remember, I'm right here resting in God. So. Whatever this message means to you, maybe take time to be by yourself and in reflection, just take a break from it all, try to get yourself together and uh, connect to your higher self as well because you're not alone, the spirit world is behind you, okay? Focus on what you have, rather what you don't, what you lack, yeah? We have between worlds so there's a lot of there's a limbo here you feel like you're in limbo there's a lack of clarity but maybe you will gain will soon gain some clarity regarding the situation and what is the answer to your whatever question you have regarding this connection or whatever question you've been asking spirit or your angels or your guides that answer is unlikely okay unlikely whatever that means it's gonna mean something different for each and every one of you, okay? And where's this connection heading, group two? We have two of swords. We have the emperor. We have the five of swords. Three of, I mean the emperor, I always say three, and the three of wands. So what it looks like to me here, there's indecision, clearly. So it is at a stalemate currently, your connection. You might feel very disappointed. You feel like you've, you know, you've, you've been backstabbed or you've been forsaken here. Um, especially if somebody, you're dealing with somebody who might be in a relationship with the emperor and the empress here. Um, or it could be this, you might see yourself as a perfect match with your person, but there's so many obstacles in standing between you guys here with the Five of Swords. So you are, what I could see here is the Three of Wands, is that you're still hoping and things are not settled yet. So maybe there's more to come here with the Three of Wands. We, we don't know what, what's to come still, but there's more to come within this connection. But for right now, within the next few days and few weeks, it's going to be same old, same old. You're still going to feel like, at a, you know, just maybe things are not really going anywhere. Your person is not making no decision. They're not choosing you. And they're staying away. And they're very incredibly stubborn. They're not, you know, they're not meeting you halfway. And you feel very disappointed. You might even fight. You might have disagreement within the next few days or few weeks. You might have a disagreement here with the Five of Swords. You know, but there's still more to come here because you're still hoping and praying for something to change, or at least this is the next few days. So, so yeah, if this been hurting you so much, it's been causing bringing you more pain than joy, then you know, consider just spending some time alone in reflection and um, focus on what you have and um, try to pick up the pieces. I know it's easier said than done, but this is not an easy connection by far. I, I could see this already. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you found this reading helpful. Uh, hang in there, okay? This is just current energies. Who knows, it might change. Hang in there, but from what 
what's coming up it doesn't look very promising yet like there's no real there's no real improvement just yet okay at least for the next three weeks or even three months not much of improvement within this connection okay because your person is still maybe your person is not available emotionally not available whether it's another person or just focus on career or whatever it is I don't see your person really meeting you halfway. They are very, very stubborn and staying away. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, please like the video if you found it helpful at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you for watching group two. Bye-bye. Group three, welcome if you've chosen to treat. This is your reading. We're gonna look at these cards towards the end. For now, let's see what does your person think about your connection right now. does your person think about your connection right now? Okay, we have Stand Your Ground, Seven of Wands, uh, Four of Pentacles from Foundation, and we have the wheel the destiny card okay so seven of wands is fighting for something or against something which we're going to clarify to see what what is this fight about and four of pentacles is holding on to something or it could be closed off not being open so we're going to find out and the destiny card which is the wheel of fortune so let's see let's clarify these cards please clarify stand your ground Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. It's a card of relationship, of, of uh, the long haul. It's everything, the end all be all. So it could be that maybe fighting very hard for this. Maybe they're fighting very hard to for your relationship. It could be looked at that way. You could be fighting very hard for your relationship, wanting a, a, a future. Uh, a commitment you could be also fighting because you want maybe marriage or you want to work on your marriage or whatever it is so looks like here it's positive they're fighting maybe to save your relationship maybe you're fighting to save the relationship as well it could also be that for those of you that are dealing with somebody who's afraid of commitment maybe keeping you on arm's length they know that you want uh, a commitment and maybe they're they kind of staying away or they're buying more time or coming up with excuses so let's find out more firm foundation what is this about two of pentacles maybe they don't feel like they have enough maybe they feel like they don't have enough money or they're not stable enough they're struggling they have juggling too many things maybe they're overworked and maybe that's why maybe they're not ready for this relationship that you want and for for some of you yeah, um, because I feel like here they're just trying to juggle way too many things. Um, maybe for some of you, you deal with somebody that has two jobs, that kind of thing. Um, or it could be for some of you, maybe juggling two relationships, juggling two people. It could be that too. Please clarify destiny. What is this about? Justice. Okay. Well. For some of you that really that are married or you're in separation, uh, this person really has no intention of letting you go. Uh, wants to work in your, to your relationship and they want to stay with you. They want to stay married to you. Okay, for those of you that are already married. For those of you that are not married and you just, they've been on and off in your life, they might be married. You might be dealing with someone else who's kind of like, you know, juggling you and someone else. Uh, their relationship others of you maybe if you're dealing with somebody who's just not ready financially for whatever reason they might feel like they're not stable for relationship and they go back and forth with the wheel of fortune they could be one minute they want to marry you another minute they're not sure so there's a bit of um, you know changing there's like maybe moodiness or instability as far as their feelings or emotions or their plans or intentions it's constant flux yeah so it could be for some of you they don't want a relationship or they're not ready for a relationship because financially they don't feel very secure it could be as simple as that 
Let's see what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in their heart space? What's going on in their heart space when it comes to you? Okay, getting to know each other. Okay. Deception. Finances and career. So we did see this. Money is a big plays a big role within this connection. Career and money is very, very important here. The deception maybe wearing not being upfront, maybe for some of you, they're not upfront about their finances. Um, maybe you're in the dark about their financial situation. It could be the same way for you. Maybe they don't know about your finances as well. But they're not, there's something here that they're withholding. And maybe you don't know each other as much as you think you do. Um, so there's something here. There's some deception here with finance and career. Let's find out more what this, this is about. Please clarify, getting to know each other. What is this about? The tower. So maybe there's something you're not aware of. The tower could represent a big change or it could represent something that could make or break your relationship or your connection. So there's something maybe you're not aware of here when it comes and maybe they're afraid if it comes everything comes up to comes to light you're it's gonna end things between you guys. Please clarify the deception. What is this about? The deception. Ace of Wands. Maybe the deception is you want a new beginning or you want, maybe they, they made you promises of a new life or, or they're going to change. Maybe the deception is that maybe they don't have no intention of holding their end of the bargain or following through. It could be as simple as that. And what's for the career and Maybe they give you false promises. That could I, I could read this this way. It maybe give you false promises. Maybe they promise you so many things. Uh, maybe you guys make plans for the future, but then you know they don't follow through. I feel like there's a lot. Maybe that they don't reveal to you. They don't tell you. They're not. They don't tell you exactly everything that's happening or what's you know. They're pretty closed off. There's a lot that you don't know about your person, regardless if you've been with them for a long time or not. I feel like there's a lot you don't know from this combination of cards. Let's see. Um, finances and career, what is this about? Okay, finances and career, queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles, this could be you or it could be them. If if it's them, they want more stability, they want status of the Queen of Pentacles. If it's you, um, they think that maybe you are more successful than they are, and that kind of maybe they that bothers them. Maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's what the deception is. Maybe they they don't really tell you that it, it bugs them that the fact that you are more successful, more stable than they are. Very interesting reading to this week, you guys. All right, if you don't resonate, guys, really don't force it, okay? It just means it's not your reading. Don't, don't worry about it. All right, let's see. Current energies. What's going on with them right now? We have contract in the reverse. So right now, it can, this is justice, okay? Justice, which is about fairness. Uh, but it's in the reverse, so maybe there's lack of fairness, they're not being fair towards you. It could be read this way. It could mean maybe they have some legal issues that they haven't told you about. Maybe for some of them, it could, it, I mean, this is really specific to one or two, maybe even a record or something they haven't told you about. It could even be married they haven't told you about, or maybe going through a divorce they haven't told you about. There's something here with contract. Uh, we have anxiety, very worried, very scared. Maybe they, maybe they're uh, in too deep, and maybe they're afraid to tell you the truth because the truth might mean that you might see them differently. Yeah. As far as you, where you at? Well, you're kind of withdrawn. You're like hermit right now. You're like trying to make sense of things. You're in your head. You're just thinking, and you're just, yeah. 
I see you a bit withdrawn here. You know, you're not pushing, you're not very active in their life. You're not actively pursuing them. And then we have moving on. You're looking, you're like distant. You're like thinking of moving on, of putting this connection behind you. Uh, you kind of, with, you withdrew your energy from them. That's what it looks like here. What spirit wants you to know about this connection? We have spaciousness. It says, what do I, what do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vital essence. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. So you're trying, you're moving on to some, to better, better, better things. You want move on to peace of mind and, and uh, you want your space. You want better things. You just want happiness and enthusiasm you don't want somebody who's feeding off of you and who's draining your essence yeah so it's telling you if you feel like this connection is taking more from you than it's adding to you you already know what you have to do and you're already doing it i feel here and yang okay yang so this is about taking action if this person if this connection were to go anywhere they have to take action this could also talk to you this could refer to you meaning time to take your life into the direction you want it to go okay time to be proactive and if you have to move on take the initiative okay take the action this is not a time of being you know just waiting and hoping this is about you taking your life in your hands and doing what's difficult yeah even if that means walking away from this connection if it's draining you and not adding any value to your life and what is the answer from your whatever you've been asking your angels your spirit guides your your um spirit god whatever you've been asking what's the answer from your angels is you're ready which means this is in is entirely up to you you know this is about you're ready to do whatever you're able. You're, you can handle whatever comes your way. You're ready. You have the willpower. You have the experience, the wisdom to, t to go anywhere you want, accomplish anything you want to accomplish. So whatever this means to you. Where is this connection heading in the next few days or few weeks? Group one. I mean, <laughs> group one. What am I saying? Group three. We have Page of Swords. The Fool, Four of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. So I see you more being still withdrawn, just going with the flow. You don't care so much. You're still curious. You still want to know what they're up to. Maybe you're keeping an eye on them on social media. Maybe they're doing the same. But you're not really actively pursuing them and they're not pursuing you it's more about with the fool's energy it's like you're just doing whatever you don't care as much you just go and with the flow four of swords you're really kind of like distant from each other and the ten of wands for this relationship to go anywhere it's a lot of work this is actually this connection has become more of a burden to, burden to you than it has become something that you maybe you once enjoyed but now it's more of a burden it's a lot of work for this connection to go anywhere it's a lot of work sacrifice and a lot of work and i see you more focused on work in the next few days or a few weeks and we you know maybe this person is still in the back of your mind is still there in the background but i don't see you guys coming together at least not in the next few days or even few weeks i see you more like Focusing on your life, focusing on your work, focusing on your daily uh, routine, but I don't see any progress within this connection. It is a difficult connection, and so it's just at a stalemate. But I really see that you have grown a lot, and <clears throat> something you have come to some sort of realization. Excuse me, <clears throat> my voice is breaking. So yeah, but you're still kind of curious. So so yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I had better news for you guys, but this is what's happening. Um, I mean, not everyone's going to turn up. Maybe some of you would have a happy ending in this connection and some of you would have a happy ending with someone else by moving on. So this reading, <clears throat> it's a general reading, but it can really manifest differently for each and every one of you. Hopefully, at least you found some messages, you know, helpful and it made sense. If it didn't make sense at all, 
it, uh, it just means it wasn't for you if you, if you, didn't, if you didn't resonate. Um, if you did find it helpful, please don't forget to like the video or subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.